Another theme of leadership risk, which has entered the agendas of boards and the agendas of CEOs, has been the word diversity. And it's a theme which is on one level veiled and wrapped into corporate social responsibility. It's wrapped into community responsibility, the environment. And yet there is no organisation that can articulate exactly why is this a strategy. Uh, is diversity a coat we wear uh, to appear that we are embracing all forms of talent and that we are able to represent the populations of talent and the populations of our customers? But I think we are going to move into an area where, where this is going to be put into the, the age of heritage, that diversity is going to be something which was seen as yesterday's agenda, that it's something that's just natural and normal now. Uh, the rise of technology used to be seen as a specialist agenda that we had to manage and get right. Well, now it's just a natural part of organizations. And diversity will go there as well. But we're going to take another generation to enter the workforce and that generation to enter management before the word diversity becomes obsolete, that it becomes part of the culture and the climate of, of organizations. Now, we can explain that with PhDs and studies and academics, but I, I'd rather explain that in the way that my own 10-year-old daughter explained it to me in quite an epiphany. Uh, last week, uh, my 10-year-old was watching a tennis match, and, uh, and Venus Williams was on one side, and, uh, and Sharapova was on the other. Now, our generation would have a way of explaining the difference between those two players. I walked in and watched my daughter watching this on television and, uh, and asked her which player is winning. And she informed me very accurately that the player in the pink skirt was winning. Now, I think we need to become accustomed that we have a generation which sees diversity and therefore we raise it. But what if the next generation of management doesn't see it? They just see difference and they embrace that. And we need to make sure that we're setting up an environment that doesn't try and draw attention to the fact that difference is something that needs managing. And I think the work we're doing with CEOs now and those CEOs that are wanting to leave a legacy over the next 20 years, not just the next two years of results, are putting this high on their agendas.